Hey everybody, this is Peter Palmiotti, and this is Making Comics Not, episode 270. Getting up there. So, uh, if you didn't already know, I'm uh, attempting to draw a lot more fan art and uh, make a lot more of my own finished artwork. Uh, in an attempt <laughs> to, uh, you know, bring in more money, uh, make more money, you know, as, as freelance artists always uh, want to do that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this was my first piece, uh, which I got inks to do next. Uh, this is Aquaman. Uh, if you didn't know, I inked Aquaman back in the day when Peter Day was writing it, and Jim Calcury was the artist. I was the Inca, and uh, figured I'd do him first. Uh, but today we're going to tackle the original X Men, uh, which is Professor X and the original team, Cyclops. Marvel Girl, Beast, Angel, and Iceman. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do the uh, snow, snow cone version of Iceman. I'll do uh, a later version uh, where it looks more like ice, I guess. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, what I'm going to attempt is just uh get this thing focused there we go um just to uh lay out some of it and what i'll do later is research uh other stop messing with the focus dude my webcam um uh, maybe i have to turn on the program hold on Goes in and out. Uh, yeah, so we'll get that going. And uh, yeah, I got a little news. Some things to talk about. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really do like the way this came out. You know, I'm sure if, if I do a whole bunch of pieces, uh, my art style will develop and evolve. Uh, that's kind of the point uh, to to really get a handle on what exactly my style is. Um, and I want to also mention, I want to, you know, I could ink this as is, just to follow the line work I already did. Um, but I do want to throw in a lot more black and a lot more detail. Uh, in the inking stage, maybe, maybe make my, my name a little smaller there. Um, but these are going to be fun. These are going to be fun. Uh, I hope you uh, follow along uh, my process. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch. Uh, where's my program? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Get that autofocus out. All right. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the cover of this has, has the master, the, uh, the one who really designed a lot of the, uh, the all-new X-Men, all-new, all-different, um, which is Dave Cockrum. He's, he's a fantastic artist. Uh, but he also did a lot of, in the 70s, a lot of uh, costume designs and, and characters. Um, and those will be fun when I get around to them. Um, but I'm going to do the original cast. And I'm just going to sort of try to attempt to lay out a, a couple of the characters. Um, like I said, this is just an initial design idea. Is it my glasses? No, it's a little bit. 
I get a little bit of a glare. Let's see. Uh, tone it down a little bit. That's uh, right. Well, that won't let me. Let's see if I do it manually. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's a little better. Alright. Um yeah, I'm gonna do just initial uh concepts for this. Uh the next stage will be to do some research, uh, and then I'll do finish penciling after maybe you know re sketching out my ideas and and do pencils and then inks and yeah it's and i like to uh much like an artist who, who does a comic you know where they're doing penciling inking maybe even coloring themselves um they may do all all the thumbnails first and then all the loose pencils and then all the finished pencils and then all the inks some artists you know just do a page where they do the, the thumbnails, pencils, inks, and then colors, you know, like uh, I'll, I'll see what my rhythm is. Um, I'm sort of taking a break in between each step right now as I really get into the rhythm of, of doing this. Um, you know, I mentioned not taking on any inking gigs and maybe that's, stupid silly of me um but i really hope that i can do a bunch of these and, and pull in some good money and and not have to worry about uh taking on more inking gigs i i got some inks i gotta get to so we'll see how a lot that all pans out and man summer has been crazy with uh bug bugs uh, and I'm I'm a little, slightly under the weather. Uh, I've got sort of September hay fever going on. Uh, I probably just need to grab some lunch. Um, let me see. So I'll start with Professor X. Uh, yeah, get away, little bugs. Um. You know, what I love um, myself is when I look at a lot of artists uh, drawing popular characters is everybody's individual takes on them. And I hope to bring some of my own visual interpretations hopefully uh will be good um so yeah right now i'm going to be doing the original cast or at least uh, as i like to see them <laughs> like i said like iceman i don't i don't like the early mushy look uh much like you know like eventually i'll, I'll get to fantastic four and you know the thing was initially um almost like mud <laughs> rather than rock before they really, you know, Kirby really defined him. Um, now I'm trying to think of where to put uh, Okay. Might be 
covering covering his own ear. We'll see. <laughs> you know how Professor X he he concentrates, he focuses. Um, maybe have two hands, maybe just one. I don't know. Let's say we do two. Yeah, it kind of looks okay. Yeah, so uh, these pieces will be either headshots or busts. Um, I think because he's he's the leader um, and he's got brain power. <laughs> uh, might be cool to do more of a close up. And what do you wear when when? Was he always in a suit and tie? Let's say we make it a little bigger. So yeah, this is Professor X. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, there will be six pieces in all for five X Men and Professor X. So, Professor X wasn't always in on the scene during the action. Uh, of course, he had Scott Summers in charge. And yeah, I might, I might, I don't think, I'm, I'm going to think individually what looks best and maybe that will <laughs> work as a team somehow. Um, uh, also like their early costumes were essentially black masks <laughs> ish. Um, like I say, I'll, I'll look at uh, other people's interpretations and see if there's some better design work. Uh, Scott, always the Man in charge of the action. Always oh, yeah. shouting his commands. <laughs> Always like Scott, you know, before they made him evil. Uh, before, the, you know. <laughs> they wrecked him throughout the years. Uh, so his original mask was very simple. I don't know. Let's see, I might, I might go with the later mask. Like I said, this, this is my takes on the character. So we'll see. You know, some people, uh, some people, artists define like the black area is b really blue. So it could be ter interpreted as a solid black or blue with a lot of black areas. Let's see what looks best. What I choose to go with.
but yeah, shouting his commands, and maybe we'll have him shooting his laser beams. A laser beam. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Do some simple lines for eyes, maybe. Scott Summers, man of action. So there's something like that. No oh, man, I feel a little congested. September really wrecks me. <laughs> we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing the six of them, just initial layouts. Uh, a little shoulder going, action going on. Um, then we got... I should do this. Okay. <laughs> so, Beast. Uh, initially, he wasn't the, the furry blue uh, awesome looking Beast version. Um, initially, he was just uh, kind of like a regular brut brutish looking guy. Um, maybe, maybe I'll make him smiling. We'll see. Not even sure how to how to do this. So he was kind of well. Scott Summers was, aka Slim. Um, back in the day. Although my version, it's the little more beefed up version. Um, Beast was a little wider in the face. Um, let's see if he's got his mask on. Uh, but Beast was always a fun character. So yeah, let's see. Not sure how to show this. Uh, I think that looks like him. Like I said, after I just this is some initial thoughts on. Maybe he has bigger, flappier ears. I forget. <laughs> um, I'm going to show it one of his hands. Maybe. Maybe he's in the, uh, what was it, danger room? And... I could show this big big ass hand and fingers. Maybe I'll have to pull back a little bit. Uh, but this would be like one of the metal bars that they swing on in the danger room. I appreciate all the lurkers. As I sketch out some initial ideas on 
what I want these to look like. Okay, so I say that's his hand. Make sure. I believe even though he wasn't the, yet the big furry beast that uh, we know more and love, he did have hairy hands and they were quite big. Maybe part his lips just a little bit. And he's got a wider face than the other guys. Yeah. Make him more the initial lovable beast. All right. Um, and much like I did, you know, I did Aquaman. I'll uh, I'll put their names on the pieces. I think that will add to the fun. Um, and the seductress of the clan. <laughs> the good girl, initially, before she got into uh, the whole Doc Phoenix thing, or Phoenix and then Doc Phoenix, was good old lovable Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. <laughs> Marvel girl. Too many, too many Marvels. Uh, what was it? Was it like this? I didn't forget. I just got the cover for reference, but I really didn't look at how Marvel Girl was drawn. Anyway, well, this is just the initial concept. So Marvel Girl, make sure. Maybe give her a slight smile. Um, yeah, make it make her. What was her powers like? <laughs> some, some fancy lines around her eyes or something. It's Marvel Girl, folks. Yeah, we'll make her. And I think initially she she didn't have her hair coming out of her mask. Maybe it's a later version. Or we could, you know, since this is my interpretations, we'll have her. Maybe it was cut. I forget. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember these characters as well as I used to. Uh, something like that, but we'll we'll make it nice and so a little sexy, very beautiful Marvel girl. Um, Maybe we'll make a black background. Let's see. Like I said, these are my initial thoughts. And I'm going to go with better versions of the characters if the initial, you know, original cast <laughs> isn't isn't what I want to be drawing. <laughs> uh so yeah, this is this isn't a history lesson. This is just my interpretations of the characters. So 
going with better variations if I choose. Uh, so then you have the pretty mall girl, not Ms. Mall. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Uh, then we got two more. We got Angel and Iceman. So Iceman. Let's go with Iceman. Um, probably, I, I think in the original cast, it's um, the youngest character. And, you know, I don't know what they're doing with Iceman today, Bobby Drake. Um, but uh, I believe he used to like the ladies. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm thinking of, you know, like if you think of Ghost Rider, you know, Ghost, Ghost Rider, Hulk, uh, some other characters really had a, a, a transformation that was phenomenal. Well, Ghost Rider mostly, I guess, uh, where he, you know, he started burning and then he was skeletal form. Uh, I don't know, Bobby Drake, you know, he sort of just like <laughs> instantly covered himself in ice. I don't know if it's interesting if I show him in partial stage. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of. Nothing, nothing's coming to mind. Uh, but kind of like Beast, he was, he was a little happy-go-lucky. I mean... You know, before before the the series became more serious in tone, uh, which I guess was earlier, because <laughs> Magneto showed up and there's a whole hate hatred for mutants. Uh, but you know, back back in the '60s, '70s, you know, there there were more happy heroes. Even they were they were bashing villains and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's do a maybe an upshot. Because they, their 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 uniforms were a little. A little too uniform. <laughs> um, a little boring to say, you know, in design. Um, maybe he's got his mouth slightly out open. So more. Yeah, this will be him more as the later day ice man. Maybe maybe we'll pull back a little. For him, show a little more of his iced up body and whatnot. Yeah, and, and as far as interpreting ice, different artists did it different ways. George Perez had a certain way, John Byrne, uh, Dave Cockrum. Maybe, maybe I could do some 
ice stalactites in the background. Who knows? Yeah, but you get this all this kind of fancy line work to interpret ice. And yeah, I mean, like this artwork is going to be black and white. So you really have to show it by delicate line work. <laughs> um, so yeah, once he was in light uh, ice form, I don't think you really saw his costume per se. Maybe the outlines, um, but this would yeah be Bobby Drake. How do you show ice in in shadow? <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, blackness in this costume. Yeah, that looks more like Beast Beast. A lovable beast in his human form. Uh, then we got Angel and Angel. I believe early on he he was the one that had a costume more unlike the others. Maybe even Marvel Girl. Um, so Angel, we'll pull back a little bit. Not such a close up. And, you know, he had such gorgeous hair. So maybe we'll kind of like Farrah Fawcett, <laughs> I think. And he was probably the happiest. They were all kind of happy, except maybe Professor X. Um, but Angel, let's see, he was rich. <laughs> yeah, maybe, let's see. Um, but yeah, X-Men were, you know, I was... One of the books, even before the all new X Men started, I, I was reading it. Uh, I remember Neil, a couple of Neil Adams issues, which should have kept Neil on the book. It would have done better. Uh, then it went into reprints for a little bit, uh, and then it disappeared. It was canceled. Um, Do you have longer hair? I forget. Probably, probably not. But kind of far across it. I think I remember. Um, and how did his wings come out? Something like that. We'll go all angel feathering wings. I know it's not a bunch of lines. That's more his <laughs> archangel. Uh, look, but there's, you know, all the, all the featherings. However, the feathers layered in. I'm gonna do plenty of research, so I'll get it right. Um, but let's say 
that was his costume back then. He had the black mask. Um, but he might have had some weird design. I don't know. I'll look it up. That's what research is for. But yeah, have have more of the wings prominent. A little more than um, bust. <laughs> there you have his hand over here. Angelic angel as we know him. So yeah, I think that initially those are good designs. So like I said, you know, um, when I posted this on my socials, I listed it as 30 bucks. It's really, it's going to be worth a lot more than that. Um, but I want, I want a lot of people to buy my artwork and get a lot of, a lot of new clients so i think making these uh 30 each is a good price uh these are so this is actual bristol paper uh, these are 10 by 10 so i'm making them square um and yeah like much like the aquaman on the you know put their name in wherever it fits um, and yeah, the X-Men will be my first team. Um, and I'll do, you know, sort of the, the all new X-Men as well. So I'll do that team, uh, probably not next. Um, you know, even though I wasn't, a, I didn't always, always collect Fantastic Four back in the day, but I did pick up later issues. Like my brother tried to collect and might even have the whole Kirby Fantastic Four run. Um, I remember picking up later issues when there were different artists. John Byrne, definitely. Paul Pelletier. Uh, but I'll be doing the Fantastic Four at some point. Uh, what I'm really interested in is the Avengers. Will be uh, characters I'll be drawing. And, and I'm not going to only focus on... Um, Marvel groups and characters, um, but uh, these are these are the ones of Marvel that I'm interested in doing. Uh, Spider Man, of course. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Defenders, uh, not not the uh, <laughs> Netflix version, but the original Defenders. I really like that weird, oddball team. Um, Alpha Flight. Uh, I definitely want to cover these. Um, in the Avengers, go with the original team, but there are so many Avengers, so many characters became the Avengers. Um, and some of the Defenders were Avengers. Well, so many X-Men were Avengers. <laughs> and Fantastic Four and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'll go with... The initial teams 
uh, really interested in all of those. Of course, there's DC characters. Uh, my favorite DC. Well, I'll have to do a, a special Iron Man because... He's neck and neck with Spider-Man. Uh, I, I freaking love Iron Man for many reasons, but I relate most to Spider-Man. You know, Peter Parker has my initials, same first name. Uh, I was in high school. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't have, you know, like one bully, but a, a few occasions in my lifetime where a bully came upon me. But uh, I'm no pushover. I'm from Brooklyn, yo. Um, but yeah, so DC got. I know a lot of people love Batman, but I'm interested in doing a good Superman. Superman, it's a hard character to pull off. Um, you know, most mostly like. I think a lot of writers get him wrong. Um, but visually speaking, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of artists that <sighs> uh, did him great, but some that didn't. <laughs> I, I, there's no doubt that, like, John Byrne gave us, like, sort of definitive version. Uh I, I like the Frank Quarterly version, although um, not necessarily All-Star Superman. I didn't love the story. I know a lot of people did, but uh, it didn't really speak to me. Um, but I think two versions stands out. Uh, John Breifogel, or, or have you pronounce it, did a fantastic Superman version. Uh, Jerry Ordway did a fantastic Superman. Um, Howard, uh, who did who did Justice League? Howard Howard Porter. Howard Porter did a fantastic ver version of Superman. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a whole bunch, whole whole bunch. Hey, it's horror. Mike, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you caught it, but I did lay out uh, what will be the equivalent of the original X-Men. And I'll be doing pieces that will look more like this, finished. And po I'm possibly going to work on this tonight. Uh, we'll see if it fits into my schedule. Um, but I need to start inks on that piece uh and but i'm going to do a whole lot of designs for characters my interpretations um and yeah i mean like where 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 i'm strong as an artist i'll get them right <laughs> but you know it's like this is me doing more and more and more artwork of my own artwork and I might fall flat on my face with some of these characters. Um, and, you know, artists have good days, bad days. So we'll see how it goes as it goes. Um, but I'm going to do a whole slew of characters. Um, so DC characters. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably throw in a Batman just because, you know, I want to. I want to do do uh, certain characters that will fly off <laughs> on their own, um, but I might do other characters like um, like there's a DC character, Red Tornado. Uh, just a character I like that um, maybe not as popular. But I, I always loved the Red Tornado, I, you know, and, and in many ways, he's like Marvel's vision, who I might just choose to do um, 
full figures of, of some of these characters. You know, I'm doing headshots because that's that's quicker. Um, because I want to eventually really churn these out at a fast pace. Um, uh, other DC characters, uh, Legionnaires, however you spell Legionnaires. <laughs> I'm going to get it wrong. Right. Something like that. Uh, the, the, uh, Le Legion of Superheroes, they were called the Legionnaires at some point, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, anyway, uh, went back when, for a brief time in history, uh, Legion of Superheroes, Legionnaires, I think there was, it was Chris Sprout, fantastic, fantastic artist, uh, a, little, a little stiff, a little, a little, uh, but perfect for the team. And it, yeah, I think when he was doing it, they had the best costumes. Freaking loved it. I think that's where uh, with retro, sort of retro's pants come from. Um, but yeah, I would, I would love to do Legionnaires, Red Tornado, Batman, Superman. There's a lot of great female characters. Of course, Wonder Woman. Um. Uh, but there's, there's characters outside of Marvel and DC, uh, you know, obviously image, there's a ton of image characters that come to mind, but um, I would love to throw out my takes on sort of more indie characters like ElfQuest. Um, you know, I did, I did a a quick version of one of my favorite characters of, you know, as far as independent characters, uh, Nexus. I would like to do a, a, a good version of Nexus. Um, who are other, some other indie characters? Um, well, my brother has a ton and, you know, I, I definitely want to do one of Ash uh, if you don't know, I named Ash. It's Jim, Jimmy Palmiotti's character and Joe Casada's character. Um, but Painkiller Jane. Um, Rick Leonardi did, drew the character at some point and did a real, really nice version of the character. Uh, where she looked more like a superhero than her current version, where she looks more like a police woman. <laughs> Painkiller Jane. So I, I would like to do more of a superhero version of Painkiller Jane. Um, I guess those two from my brother's characters. Uh, but yeah, this is a slew and an image. So image. You know, everybody loves Spawn. You know, there's some character. I mean, there's some characters um, I could draw that will sell just based on how popular these characters are. Um, Spawn would be one of them. I would do Savage Dragon. Um, because I love the character. Oh, by the way, anybody watching um, House of Dragon I heard they're going to jump 10 years into the future so they get a whole different cast of actors? That kind of sucks. <laughs> I wish they would have done a... Um, Better call Saul, just like screw it, you know, like these characters are now 10 years older, uh, but it's the same actors. I really like the actress who, who was the main, main lead, uh, but maybe I'll like the new new actors and actresses. Uh, Savage Dragon, Spawn, oh, um, not, not a 
image. Uh, I want to do Madman. If you know Madman, that was um, Mike Allred's character. Fantastic. Oh, speaking of, um, yeah, there's a lot of Dark Horse characters I love, a lot of image characters. Um, or Cyberforce, Wildcats, I don't know. Um, Rob Liefeld's characters, cast characters. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I mean, this is enough to start with. <laughs> um, there's a lot more female characters I want to throw in, a lot more. Uh, oh, I got to do Hulk. I think my favorite version of Hulk was uh, um, uh, Jim Stranko's version, where uh, he drew an excellent Captain America and an excellent Hulk uh, when he was doing Nick Fury. I, I, I want to do the original Nick Fury. No disrespect to the current <laughs> current version, but um, and Power Man and Iron Fist were favorite favorites. So Iron Fist was. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I inked for Marvel back in the day was a couple of pages from Marvel premiere issue with Iron Fist and some other superhero character, I forget. Uh, but yeah, right. Power Man and Iron Fist was, was a great book. Um, yeah, I think these, this is a, a good initial... Um, but yeah, just initially, these are what I might do that will look like this. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll just work. Um, I'm going back and forth on a, a lot of different work. Um, but maybe I'll get a chance tonight uh, to start inks. It, you know, on this piece, if not finish it. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you uh, been enjoying um, me diving into doing more of my own art. Um, you know, it's really important to me as somebody who wants to draw you know, draw their own own book and get known as not just an anchor. Um, you know, I want to be known as a writer, as a penciler, as an anchor, and to a certain degree as a colorist. Although coloring, I'm sure, will take me the longest skill to uh, master. But, um, you know, I've been drawing all my life and should be better at it. Uh, but I've been so, so focused on inking. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a massive amount of interpretations of not only these, but many more to follow. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Good stuff here. Thanks. I appreciate it. And yeah, so people will get to know me as an artist and, and when I get to uh, drawing not only retro, but other things, um, you know, maybe I, I could be Wizard Magazine's uh, top 10 artists, <laughs> you know, 30 years too late. Um, but thanks, everybody, uh, for checking this out. If you're watching this after the fact, then give this a video a like, share it with your friends, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram, um, you know, the more people that see this, 
that I'm trying to make a leap as a creator, uh, not only in my content, but in what I'm doing. Break free of just an inker mold um, and bring in better money, you know. Pencilers make better money than inkers. So, uh, you know, if I could be a full-fledged artist, penciling, inking, and coloring my own work, then I could definitely make better money. Uh, and, you know, I'll never say no to turning turning down work. Like if, if a penciling gig, a coloring gig is offered to me, you know, I could possibly make even more money doing that. Um, and if Mullen and DC want to hire me, I, you know, I don't, I, I don't align with anything either company is doing now. I'm not really reading the titles and, and anything I've read in the last 10 years from Mullen and DC kind of was lame. Uh, I was really looking forward to John Romita Jr. on Spider-Man, but eh, it's kind of lame. Um... But yeah, so maybe like I'm not seeing it, so I'll draw it myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, I got some upcoming things. Tomorrow I'm going to have Frog G and Jason, Jason Bascom. Uh, creators of a new book that's on IGG and we'll talk all about that tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Um, and also I'll be on Apex Comics Group um, when it, Comics with an X uh, what is it? Wednesday night at 8 I believe next week the 28th and looking forward to that um and yeah, if if you have a suggestion, I'm not really taking suggestions, uh, but may, maybe it, it might align with um, something I want to draw. Like I, I want to draw these characters because I, I grew up reading them. Uh, I remember reading the um, newspaper strip of, of Spider Man. I, was it John Romita? was drawing this strip for a while. A jar of meter, senior, both senior and junior are fantastic in their own ways. But uh, jar of meter senior was a solid, solid Spider-Man artist. His Spider-Man, his Peter Parker, his Mary Jane. Uh, I think everybody that draws any of those characters try to, in, you know, get a little John Romina Sr. influence into uh, their work, even to a degree, Tom McFarlane, <laughs> when he drove. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in drawing so many, so many characters, and I'll, I'll grow the list. Um, maybe I'll put the, uh, a list up on my blog, and so you can see, see the growing list, and, and, uh, maybe beg me to do, you know, maybe, maybe you want to see my interpretation of Red Tornado sooner than later. So uh, I could move up on the list of, as to when I'll get around to it. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to support me, not only here on my YouTube channel, but you could become a patron for as little as a dollar each month. Um and, oh, the other little bit of news, which is kind of a big thing, is I'm only going to be around uh, streaming for sure until the end of November. Uh, for two months after that, I may not be streaming or may stream a little bit. Um, but mo mostly I'm going to be focusing on writing a horror novel of all things. Uh, it has to do with, you know, I'll be away in Florida, uh, away from my studio. Um, this is also why I'm making a shift because I, um, 
I don't want to really be pay, taking on, on inking gigs right now, knowing that I'll be away, you know, a little over a month. Um, so it is a perfect opportunity for me to really make a push, make a shift, uh, and, and get people more familiar with uh, my pencil work as well. And for me to make more of my own finished artwork and for me to have available more of my own artwork, finished artwork to sell. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be going away and, you know, I, I got things I got to do with family, uh, which is what that's all about. And, uh, you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll be away until just after the new year. Um, but at least I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be closer to family out there, uh, which would be kind of cool. And my cats will be taken care of anybody wondering about my cats. I'm not going to give them up or put them out or whatever. They'll be at my friends at the rescue just outside of town here. Uh, so they'll be cared and loved for and, uh, and also, yeah, uh, while I'm away, I, I don't, you know, I'll sort of be uh, doing something, uh, won't take my full attention, which is why I don't want to make critical deadlines for myself when I'm away. Uh, so writing, writing a novel will be not only fun, uh, but something I can, you know, pick up and, and put down on a moment, moment's notice. Um, so that's, that's why I'm, I'm figuring on that. Uh, I'll still be keeping up with, uh, my drawing skills as well as, you know, studying, uh, you know, I got art books, uh, I'll be learning coloring programs one way. So that when I come, come back, I'll be able to finish a bunch of things. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you again shortly, possibly tonight, uh, where I'll be inking that Aquaman piece. Uh, but don't hold me to it. I will he be here um, tomorrow night with guests. So love you all. Take care.